Welcome back for another book talk. It's Tuber Tuesday and time for me to do some tag videos. I am going to do the last 10 books tag. I was tagged by Margaret Pennard. The tag was created by Mark Nash. I'll have links down below in the description. I'll also put the links for who I'm going to tag down there below for you. Question number one, the last book you didn't finish. I remember watching or listening to an old interview with Patrick Rothfuss about his inspiration for the King Killer Chronicle, and he said he had read the life story of Casanova, the thousands of pages of memoirs, and I thought that would be a fun read as well. But I only got through the beginning and decided to set it aside to finish shorter works. Of course, part of that's because it was during the Texas freeze, rolling blackout situation, and I just needed a different story at the moment. Question two, the last book you reread. As a teacher, I tend to revisit Hamlet on a regular basis, but that's true for a lot of the plays that I really like and discuss with class. Question three, the last book you bought. I just went online, found a good deal on some used hardcover copies of the Powder Mage trilogy. I hope I'll like the books. Supposedly, they were part of the inspiration for Daniel Green's novella that he has coming out, Breach of Peace. Question four, the last book you said you read but didn't, why would I lie? Oh, okay. Well, here's what happened. 1Q84 being listed on Goodreads as an, it's listed either in Japanese editions as the individual volumes, book one, two, and three, or for English, it's only listed as the compilation of all three books. And I don't read Japanese. I didn't want to confuse people. So when I listed it on Goodreads, I listed it as the English version, but I've only read book one. I didn't read all three of them. And that means my 2020 page count on Goodreads is a little bit off, though I did explain this in a previous YouTube video. So I apologize to anyone who feels that I have confused you or lied to you. It's not really done on purpose. It's just a weird situation. Question five, the last book you wrote in the margins of. I use sticky notes most of the time, so I don't actually write in the actual book. Lately, I usually just annotate for the books that I read for book club discussion so that I know I have something to say something to remember for those discussions. The last one that I remember doing that for was the Japanese philosophy book In Praise of Shadows by Junichiro Tanazaki. Question six, the last book you had signed. The pandemic really has got me going nowhere, so I haven't been going out to book signings or that sort of thing. So the last book that I got signed was online, and that was the last memoir of Jim Ross. You were able to get an autograph copy through his website where he sells his barbecue products, which by the way, he's got some good seasoning and different types of ketchup and mustard and barbecue sauce on there. Number seven, the last book you lost. I'm really upset about losing this book because it's actually quite rare to find now, uh, but I looked online when I was reading Enigma Tales at Andrew Robinson's novelist Stitch in Time and saw that it's actually worth hundreds of dollars now, even though it's just a paperback book, on Amazon from used sellers, and it made me want to read it again. So I went to get it off the shelf, but I can't find my copy. One of my all-time favorite books, and it has somehow disappeared, which is really weird, in the pandemic. Number eight, the last book you had to replace. I have recently replaced both Scythe by Neil Schu and The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. Though with Perks of Being a Wallflower, I got the 10th anniversary edition, which is pretty neat. They are the two books that are the most stolen from my classroom over the years. And I've, I've replaced them several times. And I like to think the students don't purposely steal the books, you know. I tell them that they can read them, so they borrow them, they read them, they take them home, and they forget to bring them back. That was actually a big deal with the pandemic last year when we shut down school right around this time a year ago. A lot of students had borrowed books from their English teachers' classrooms and were reading them at home. And since we didn't come back to school last school year, that means we didn't get a lot of those books back, which is really unfortunate. By the way, anyone out there who has books that used to belong to your teachers or your school, you could just anonymously go to the school and drop them off at the front office, put a sticky note on them with the teacher's name, ask the front office to return them to the teacher. You're not going to get in trouble. Just saying. Question number nine, the last book you had an argument over? 
I wouldn't call it a serious argument, but I just did a video about the Old Man's War series by John Scalzi and how book four, Zoe's Tell, is just a retelling of book three, The Last Colony, but from a different character point of view. And I did have somewhat of an argument about whether or not it's worth reading book four, because you've already read book three, you already know the plot. Uh, even though I feel like book four enriched the story and added new scenes and elements to it, I understand there are some people who don't want the same story twice. Question 10. The last book you couldn't get a hold of. I don't know about this answer. There are a lot of older science fiction and fantasy books that I'd like to have in hardcover, so I guess it would be I can't get a hold of a hardcover copy. The hardcovers are expensive. It's hard to justify paying for them. I will tag people down below in the description. I'm just kind of tired while I'm recording this, so I haven't double-checked who hasn't done the tag yet going back through people's channels. So look down below to see whether or not you were tagged. Though, as always, if you want to do the video, consider yourself tagged. That's it for today. Every day is a great day for a book talk. Peace.